I think I gained more of a family from Drag Race. It's so much more than just a check and a crown and a scepter. Is you hungry? Because I'm baked. Ow. My experience with South Carolina, love it and I'll go visit, but at the same time, it was not a place for me to flourish and like live openly. My whole mindset was get as far away as from the place that I'm familiar with so I can like learn and explore myself. Because if I stay in South Carolina, then I'm gonna be living somebody else's truths and not mine. And definitely growing up black um, in the South, racism is still alive uh, in a thing. And you have to deal with those things on top of, all right, let's not put too much switch in your walk. All right, let's not talk in a, a, a sassier tone and, and drawing your words out. Being queer, black, and plus size, I got three different things going against me in quote unquote society's mindset. Was Los Angeles a welcome place for urge black queen to introduce yourself? I think so. I went to theater school in Los Angeles. I want to tell you, I have some of the best friends from theater school um, who taught me more than they know, just based on visuals of them expressing themselves. And that's when I kind of figured out, okay, LA might be it. This might be the place for me. Are you a role model? If you would have asked me this before Drag Race happened, the answer would have been no. You're asking me this now after RuPaul's Drag Race, I would say yes. And it's not saying I'm gonna put myself in a place of being a role model. You automatically sign up for being a role model once you step into that room. Before you even open your mouth, just by your image alone, you are a role model to somebody, you are speaking up um, for somebody or you're being a voice for somebody. Do you feel comfortable in your own skin now? You can't tell me nothing. There you go. <laughs> I love everything about myself now. And I think being here taught me that 100%.